Hi, I'm Ryan with Green Zone Fitness. Today, we are gonna discuss upper back and neck and shoulder pain. Because that's kind of a common thing that we run into with not only our clients, but just everybody who comes to us and we get a lot of questions with it online. Um, we find that kind of in today's day and age, when you're hunched over a computer all day or you're driving, like this all day, it just creates problems up in this area. So I wanted to show you a handful of techniques that we use to fix that. And all you're gonna need is a roller. You can use a roller like this that's short or a long one. Oh, there comes Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> or a long one. So when you see a long one like this, that's um, one you can use some different things for, but I'll show you how to use the short one. So let's get started. Okay, so. What I like to start with, with upper back and neck pain, is we're gonna lay down on the ground, we're gonna do kind of some upper neck rolling. So let me show you how to do this. So when you lay down, you wanna put the roller right under the bottom of your neck there, and you're just gonna nice and easy, kind of roll your head, just back and forth, and try and find kind of any sensitive spots, any little knots in there and just kind of work them out. And what you want to be careful with is just not like pushing past any sort of pain. So if you have like a sharp pinching pain or something, just be nice and easy and just kind of work. So from there, what I like to do is focus on kind of the upper back. So what we're gonna do is kind of put your arms back and just kind of roll back and forth right in here like this. If you feel some strain in your neck, put your hands behind your neck and hold your head to give yourself a little help. And you might notice a few pops in there along the way, that's fine. That's not gonna hurt you. It's actually kind of relieving some of the areas that are gonna give you some pains. Now once you've done that one, I like to cross the arms and do the same thing. Just kind of roll back Breathe nice and slow and controlled and just trying to kind of get that roller up into the muscles along the spine there like that. Scoop down here, give myself a little more room. Let's go ahead and cross the arms. I like to cross them both ways. So see how I crossed with my other arm over that time? And then the same thing, just kind of roll back. Breathing, just nice and easy. Right in here and you're gonna spend about maybe about 30 to 45 seconds on each one of these stretches and then kind of finish off with a good little neck roll again. You can see then afterwards how you're gonna have more range of motion in that. Now, one of my other favorite moves is gonna be with this along the length of your spine. So if you have a long one, you can do the same move laying down on the ground, but I'm gonna show you how to do it up on the wall with the short one. So this is kind of in, into where we're gonna do our standing motion. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this right along the spine here. So you're gonna set it right along your spine. And what I wanna do is I wanna go arms out and I wanna go back and forth and reach back as far as you can and squeeze your shoulder blades against the roller. You're just gonna kind of repeat that motion over and over right in there. And your goal in this is to open your shoulders as much as you can and squeeze. Nice and controlled. From there, we'll bend the arms, do the same type of thing. I wanna go all the way open and close, get into that. And over time, you're gonna notice that your ranges of motion in all of these stretches are gonna become better and better. Um, it's no rush, so this is gonna take you a few weeks or depending on how bad you are, maybe even a couple months to really fix. And so up along the wall like this. Keep your elbows as close to the wall as you can, hands right on the wall. And again, this roller is gonna be right along your spine while you're doing that. And just retract the shoulder blades as much as you can and go right up and down. Now you might, in the beginning, have some pains while you're doing this. You might not be able to get your arms all the way back to the wall. That's okay. Just try and over time, keep going a little larger, a little larger, and you'll notice that over the next couple weeks of you doing these exercises, that you're going to have bigger ranges of motion, you'll have a little less pain up there, 
you might notice like a day when you know you'll have less pain that day the next day you'll have a little more pain that's okay you're doing the right thing you're going the right direction so now my favorite tool is this lacrosse ball if you don't own one of these you've got to get one throw it in your in your gym bag they're super important for working out knots in your upper back you can also work them out anywhere else on your body but i'm going to show you how to use it up in your neck and your upper back so what you want to do is you're going to place this kind of right up here, top of the shoulder blade, kind of where the trap meets up here in the neck. And you're just gonna lean it against the wall and then just nice and easy, just kind of roll it around. You're gonna find some knots, even I've got knots up in there. And what you wanna do is just kind of relax the ball on it, just kind of work out that knot and move it around all over kind of the back where the traps in your neck are all connected, go to both sides. And like I said, you don't rush this, I like to spend, you know, maybe five to 10 minutes, just depending on how I feel, kind of every day before my workout, just doing a few little movements like this, depending on what I need to try and correct for that day. But um, just kind of keep moving it around. And then what you'll do is kind of move it up in here into your neck and do your upper neck. So you, you'll place it like right up in here, do the same kind of motion. And there's gonna be a lot of crunchiness, just kind of nice and easy on those crunchy spots. Now, if you're in Arizona, at our gym, we're going to have a stretching, rolling, and recovery class. It's going to be great. It's going to be 30 minutes. It's going to be in our studio room. And there will only be about 10 to 12 people in there. So you're really going to get some individualized attention with your, your trainer who's training that class for the day. And I really recommend either, if you're not a member, just dropping in, paying per class fee, trying it out. Um, if you have one of our class passes, you really should try and make through that class at least once a week so that you can get some individualized instruction. If you have a hip problem or if you have a lower back problem, the trainer's gonna give you some tips throughout that class to fix it. And we're gonna have fun music going, some cool lights, and it'll be a good time for everybody in there as well. Only 30 minutes, it'll be well worth your time. You'll be able to take what you learn in that class and use it yourself a couple more times during the week. And that's gonna really help your body. Because I'm telling you, if you have these little ailments like this, you're never gonna reach the goal that you have, your end goal, you'll never reach it. Because when you're looking at somebody's body online or your favorite actress, actor, whomever, and you see their body type and you want to be that body type, what you don't realize maybe is their posture is so great. If you have those rolled shoulders, you're never going to look the way you want to look. So if we fix some of these ailments, you're going to look the way you want to look. You're going to feel better. It's going to be, you know, not have anything to do with the scale, but you're going to feel better and look better and you're going to be much healthier. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe so you see all of our future content. Check us out on greenzonefit.com, and we'll see you there.